Hello everyone, today I thought I'd do a guide on the new Labyrinth, new Overlord Labyrinth, and what my speedrunning sort of guide is. So, of course, to speedrun it, you have to have, in my opinion, either Albedo or Shaltier, if you do have one of them. I recommend picking uh, Shaltier of Albedo, but if you do pick Albedo, it's not too bad anyway. But of course, uh, you do have to unlock, you do actually have to complete it with them to get them. Uh, but what I always like to do is you always want to mainly pick DPS ones, like just DPS passives. Because uh, the characters themselves get buffs per uh, Overlord Cloud character on the field. And what you want to do is if you do have uh, multiple of them, uh, you do want to pick them up along the way. Because you give your team more basic stats, but also they are a lot better uh, than normal characters on this. As they do have uh, slightly buffed stats. Shaltier does one shot, but it's Shaltier, so it's nothing really to be shocked about. Yeah, and this labyrinth takes roughly half an hour, and you do need to farm it actually quite a few times uh, to get the reward at the end. Although, the tickets, sorry, you need to farm it a lot to get the tickets, which is sort of irritating. Because it takes, it took me five hours yesterday to get all the LR coins, plus the, um, the tickets, which is very irritating. But it wasn't too bad in the end. I did actually stream a lot of it, and I actually enjoyed streaming it with you guys. Um, yeah, I might stream more in the future. But also with this labyrinth, you do actually have to own the characters, which I do think is kind of irritating because they are collab characters. So of course, if you don't have them, it's a slight pain, sort of thing. Let's do this. Picking Gotha is also good as well. Uh, I would recommend Red Gotha over Green Gotha, but of course, if you're going to pick Green, pick Green. Uh, Mainly because uh, you can get to a point where if you uh, if you only have Albedo, if you only have Shaltier, uh, you can get Shin, Green Shin, and then uh, a Gotha, preferably red, and then like Death Piercing back, and then what you can then do is you can just double upgrade, pretty much. You can just double upgrade every turn, uh, which is so nice. Uh, crit chance, or crit damage, you want crit damage. Shaltier actually has a very high base crit chance, so we don't have to worry about her missing crits. Uh, of course we do have Gotha, but Gotha doesn't work because two unknowns on the field. Overall, this labyrinth is very easy. The boss at the end is very easy. Probably the hardest boss is the second one because it's a very slight gimmick to it. Apart from that, the the bosses are super easy, and just it's really just a pushover. I do like this labyrinth content. I just wish it was um, a little more replayable because this is a little bit boring. Like just farming this for ages on end. Or oh, he's dead. Yeah, Shelter is very strong. Uh, he might just have to bleed. Patience, and then it does bleed cool. Very good. Um, yeah, this labyrinth isn't really that hard. There's no, uh, what I don't like is there's no end bit of the labyrinth, so you can't just like farm the end bit for the for the coins. You actually have to farm floors one to three. Uh, you think they're just farming floor one because it's uh, easier? Yes, it is easier, but it will cost you 10 times the stamina, which means it will cost you a lot more stamina pots, which just isn't worth it. Because if you do one full run of the labyrinth, you can get one ticket, which will take, you know, 10 runs, where it would take you 10 runs to get one ticket if you were to just do floor one. So, of course, do bear that in mind that, yeah, you're wasting like 10 times the amount of stamina pots. Upgrade double upgrade shelter here, and then we just AoE. This labyrinth is actually. I would say it's definitely not the worst. The Shield Hero one felt a little bit more rigged because this one you can definitely do with just Cocutus. Like my first run, I did it with Cocutus, Red Tarmiel, uh, Festival Merlin, and then Death Pierce. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's Festival Merlin. Is it the Festival Merlin or Shin? Because, well, I, I wanted to complete it just so I was able to get the free multi before I did my summoning video. Which I did. Uh, no one. Good. If, if it's also, if there isn't anyone good, I always see if I can find like a good support character. Um, uh, increase it. Okay, cool. We'll just do this. We'll just do this one. It also, of course, because you do want four characters as soon as possible. It is possible to get Albedo on the first floor as well as getting uh, Shaltier. Like, you can pick Shaltier like what I've done, and then you can get Albedo on the first floor, which I've done to me before. <laughs> You can also get a uh, Festival Melon, which is cool. You can also get Goddess Liz, AM Melee, Lost Vein. Lost Vein isn't good because he's not LR, so don't 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 make the mistake I did. With that, my second round, I thought, oh, sick, I got Lost Vein. He was not good at all. Bang! Go the, can go to finish the job. I would have died to bleed anyway. And go to finish the job. Let's go.
The first boss is Gerard, I think. Seven percent attack, crit chance. We'll go crit chance. Just to guarantee crits. Um, did they get shelter? I mean, what I'll then do is then do this. So that means they all get the, the stat boost for unknowns in the field. Also, uh, when you are infinitely farming these, I highly recommend picking up the crystals like more than anything because they do give you a lot of stats, which is what I've been doing. Uh, AM Melly, yeah, no thank you. Uh, passives, and of course, if you don't want to buy them, uh, you can get a character if you really want. But I always say buy these because sometimes you can't buy a passive and sometimes you can't buy anything else. Also, don't worry about your levels. If you've been buying those crystals for a little while, you don't really have to worry about the, uh, the levels because, well, you have a lot of stats. Also, healing, there's always a healing, like 50% healing one, always at the end, uh, before the boss, which is nice. Uh, especially not having to do a boss fight and then go straight, sorry, you have to do a fight and then go straight into a boss fight where you can't heal, but yeah. Also, with buying those crystals, you get like 24% lifesteal, which is a lot, especially with like Shulti's really stupidly high uh, amount. Uh, so she's not actually going to remove stance turn 1 because she's not using a remove stance skill, so I'm just going to do this. I'm pretty sure she also has a heal, which gets like half, so Albedo should hopefully deal with that. Shulti can inflict bleed and infect, which is nice. I should also get the Shulti stack next turn, as long as I don't have patience. Okay, I'm not going to get the Shulti stack next turn, and Albedo one shots. Okay. Casual. She is very busted. On this, she's actually very good as well. Because sometimes, like, uh, you know, if you're running Shultier, use the Shultier AoE, then only upgrade. Then only upgrade Shultier, use her AoE, and then use the uh, counter for Alwada, and it's just easy. It's super easy. Uh, also, when you've done, like, several runs of it, you will end up getting, like, lots of alt levels. Like, I normally end up with, like, 5, 6, or 6, 6 characters. Because your characters have either so much lifesteal to a point where they just heal themselves immediately to full, or you insta-kill them, so you don't actually take any damage. So... It's just always nice to have quite higher levels, especially for Irons, as it actually makes quite a big difference in terms of his uh, passive. Uh, we'll do Shulti uh, level 2, and then we'll do this counter. They should kill. I'm not sure they shouldn't kill the middle guy, though, because the middle guy actually isn't attacking. I don't think the bleed will be enough. No bleed won't be enough. Should still kill the two side guys, though. She's, she's so tanky to a point where she just doesn't take damage. Please damage her. Goodness sake. She still one shots though, which is kind of insane. I he almost died. We'll just do this. Dead. There we go. That was easy. It does help I do have uh, at least a few levels on each crystal. That's what I was doing when I was farming on stream yesterday. Just grabbing the crystals as the crystals uh, boost all of your substats by a degree. So increased crit chance, increased crit damage, all those kind of ones is always nice to have. I would like to pick up irons as well, just so I have the full overlord combo, because that gives you an extra 5% basic stats per overlord character you have. Uh, Monspeed, yeah, no. Uh, no, none of them are good. and I don't think you can get any good ones here, so I'll just skip it. If, if I don't find anyone good and I like my team, I just skip it. There's no point uh, getting a character that I won't use. Irons, no irons. Death Pit. Death Pit is always good, though. I would take Death Pit. Uh, attack increase, no. I always like to go for the general attack increase, like attack increase for all, for everyone or for like Overlord characters, because they're the ones that really make up the difference. Uh, can't buy anything else. Cool, that's fine with me. Uh, hopefully we should get irons soon-ish, because I would like to finish up the team, so it's a much easier run. Yes, I would lose the rank up, but uh, irons himself just makes it much easier. Oh, Merlin. Okay, so the only good thing about having Shult here is that you can pretty much count on Merlin's shield. Uh, stance up, then I upgrade Shult here, and then I AoE. This should do a lot. Well, a half decent amount. That's not too bad, that will definitely break the shield. Okay, millions of shield here, gods. Oh, I actually dealt damage. Well, there goes the shield. Okay, now it's good. Now Shulti's actually got the buff next turn, which means we, we can actually kill everyone. Alright, there goes the buff. Let's get a type advantage, and then we'll just spam these two, because why not? <laughs> Big damage. 626k, not too bad. 
she does a lot of damage, like 300k, like, yeah, I guess I do have a quite a bit of basic stats from, like, the passives and that kind of stuff, but she still hits very hard. From, like, all the passives and all the crystals, but she still hits very hard. Uh, no one I really want, so we are not going to, can I, like, oh, yeah, like I said, I want to back out, I don't want to take any. I'll take the, I'll take the Awakening instead. Uh, come here, this one. Floor 2 is... Floor 2 is... All these floors are super easy. If, if you have, like, either Albedo or Shultit, it just comes... Uh, it will super... Uh, especially if you're not used Corcutus as well. Most people don't know that if you use an attack with Corcutus and you have someone on your team that's debuffed, he removes the debuff and gives your entire team a buff. Depending on how many debuffs he removed. Which is kind of cool. Bang. There you go. What I've realized is that a lot of the collaboration characters recently, or well, every, well, the past three collabs, including reruns. So, of course, current Overlord, AOT, and uh, Dropless Reincarnate all had a Infect character. Uh, AOT had Levi, and then of course uh, Overlord has Shaltier, and then Drums Reconnate had Rudius. So Infect is like a key thing they like to give to collaboration characters. Also last year we had uh, Echidna and a Rimuru as well. So the only collab that hasn't had, the, in the last six collabs, the only collab that didn't have an Infect character was Rising of the Shield Hero. Apart from that, every other collab had a um, an Infect character. That's AoE. Which shows you the real importance of uh, AoE infect skills. To be better nowadays, you have to have some sort of way to stop healing or extreme DPS. Or both, in terms of DMK. Once again, another the same fight with Merlin. Okay. I didn't know you could do the same one twice. I would like to get Red Goat if I don't get Irons at least. Big damage. Okay, I might not be able to kill this turn, because I got a million Albedo cards instead. Actually, the bleed might kill. Oh, Albedo might kill. She killed. Cool. Um, okay, that will kill, and then I should just double super target, which should then kill the other guy. Because I have the attack increase. Big damage. Not too bad, Bramon, that's meant to be a debuff skill. Like a debuff only skill. That's a very powerful debuff at that. Uh, passives, crit chance. I always go for the damage dealt per orb because it's actually pretty good. And if you get like Merlin, you can put Merlin in the back. Irons? No irons. Wow. Passives. Uh, we'll do Pierce, right? Pierce right, they don't have, there is no Pierce characters, but I'll just take Pierce right. Pierce right's always good to have. Ta-da, there we go. Uh, I, no one needs to heal, but I'll grab the healing anyway. Uh, and then we will come here and do this one. This boss, uh, there is a quite an easy way to do it, and that is you just don't attack. Uh, turn one, you just put up an, an Albedo counter, and then, because every time you attack it, you get an Ignite stack, and then the boss has a... Um, ruin ultimate, well, that means you pretty much get shadow roamed. What I'm going to do is probably this, and now this. Also, Glocks does have uh, attack disable, which is kind of irritating. But this should be fine. Another counter, which is nice. Big damage. This boss doesn't have any other gimmicks other than every time you attack, you get like a debuff on you. Oh my god. Okay, I would have just killed it. But yeah, he, he's a pretty easy boss to deal with. If not, pretty much what I was going to do is just wait. The next turn, Shaltier would have got the Berserk buff and I could have just one shot. It isn't too bad. That was uh, very easy. On to the next one, I pick a character. Irons? No. I'm going to do one roll and see if we get Irons. No, okay. That's unfortunate. Um, we got all levels, now we're 6-6. Six, six, which is nice. Uh, we'll get this one. 
I always like to do the easier ones because I'm too lazy to do the harder ones. Also, they take more time sometimes. So. I really like Shulti's little card. It's nice. Um, I could just do level 3 counter. Because I know that will definitely kill the two side guys. Go on, attack. I date. That's a debuff. Even with the attack lower, she's still one shot. And now she's got... Oh, she didn't get a buff. What? She got attack, so she's meant to get a buff. I guess... She didn't for some reason. And then uh, Shulte can just wipe it, so it's not actually a problem. Hundred K isn't bad, plus the like ninety K bleed. And then hundred and thirty two K. I think Shulte could actually be pretty busted, especially if they uh do give OG first king a relic. Because uh, his actual relic sorry, if he gives them if they give OG first king an LR, because of his relic currently debuffs the enemy. Uh, we'll do this one. I didn't get any real. I didn't get any real good ones there, but I'll take that one. Because his relic is like every time he uses an AOE skill, he fix bleed. So I mean, Shulti will be hitting hard all the time. Um, that's a shop at the end, so I'll just grab. I'll grab Super Awakening actually, because I'm not actually that much awakened, so I want to get the uh, extra sub stats from that. Uh, then we'll go here. This, this this is very easy, and the more, the more you farm it, the quicker it will be, because you get more of the crystals, which is, of course, why I recommend you buy, because it's always nice to have. Um, I'm just going to do this, because there's no point me using a level 2, because he's, the, the guy who's attacking is going to die to level 1 anyway. Bang. So cool, man. I love, I love that, that, like, that infect skill. I don't know why it just looks so cool. I think they've done very well on their like these animations. Because uh, if you if you notice, I would whenever Albedo counters, you see like an axe come out, like, smacks him with an axe, which I didn't realize at the start. I uh, would we'll just do this, and then this will wipe. Also, because she didn't take any damage, she gave them the the uh, damage lower, no, not the damage lower, the increased damage taken, which is absurd. Like, who thought of that? It's like, oh yeah, you can all rush against Alberta, but now you take like 40% more damage against like Tear and Hell. Yeah, you're dead. Or even against, uh, whatever. Uh, Shulter. Decrease, increase, increase. We want to increase, we don't want to decrease. Get some more, uh, stars, which is nice. I always try to focus on, at the end, just going for like, I always try and go for like passives, and then when I hit the final floor, I try and go for like uh, stats. I try and go for like levels and stars. When I, only mainly on the end floor, mainly on the final floor. Uh, I think that if I level three Shulte, the bleed will kill them. If it does more than like half the HP, we should be fine. She also got 14% extra attack now. Yeah, they're all dead. She's so strong, man. Patience. <laughs> Patience. 112k bleed. It's in Especially, I imagine mixing her with like Hendrickson. That's a video idea. Okay. I need to write more video ideas down. I got a lot down. Uh, you'll be actually seeing the first one tomorrow, which I haven't recorded yet, but you'll, you will be seeing it tomorrow. Uh, I haven't recorded it today, I was going to record it today, or even last night, but I was busy last night, and I'm going to be busy today, so I just well, I'll quickly record this one. I just want requires no editing, and I can pretty much guarantee the length of this video is going to be less than half an hour. Rather than when I'm recording a PvP video, sometimes it can be 15 minutes recording, 20 minutes recording, or 45 minutes, which I don't really have. I have to be gone in 20 minutes, so I've got to get this done and then submit the video, or put the video up. Counter upgrade of an AoE. The one in the middle doesn't actually have ult, uh, ult gauge, which means detonate isn't too good. So if you do have computers on this, you may just want to save the ult and then choose amplifier. <laughs> she getting her buffs now. Okay, now she's actually getting her buffs. I don't know why she wasn't getting her buffs first. Wait, is it because she, she kills them? 
It might be because she kills them so she doesn't get- that's kind of weird. I think that's a bug. Because she gets a hit, so maybe- I'm so confused. When they die, she just doesn't get the buff. Okay. And 100k casual. Do, 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 do. Uh, we'll go for the stars now. Go for levels. Level 90 is not bad. It's more than our CC. Final character, come and get irons. No, he's possible to get. I've got him. I got him on my previous run before this one. Uh, damage dealt with debuff skills, yeah, because I've got shelter and I can buy my final levels. There you go. The Stamprint is super easy, especially if you have even even if you just have one of the collaboration characters, as long as it isn't just Cocutus, you're fine. Yeah, actually, even with Cocutus, he was actually a pretty good DPS. Especially if you've got the right um passives. Of course it is all luck based, so. He looks so cool, man. I wanna see his ult, but I've not actually seen his ult yet. Actually, I'll do I'll do that another time. Uh, I did the wrong button. Got this one, we'll do this, and then we'll do this. So the reason I'm upgrading Shulter, uh, Arbiter is because I'm pretty sure she can just kill with her, uh, with her counters. Goes with the heal, which is fine. Two hundred k. I don't know, well, I don't know what, but there is a skill that gives him evade. It doesn't actually matter because Albert doesn't care. But he pops the evade and then he attacks and then Albert just immediately removes it. Yeah. And this Labyrinth is super easy and it does take a long time to farm, but it is like really worth farming, especially for the free tickets, the diamonds, and the LR coins. So uh, make sure you guys farm this and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.